Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems on the web at lobbytools.com. A year-long battle between Governor Rick Scott and the feds ended this month when the state was granted access to an immigration database. The database will be used to remove non-citizens from the state's voting rolls. The progressives like Damian Filer say there's Republican motivation to the purge. But this is about politics. It's not about trying to keep people who shouldn't be able to vote from voting. It's about keeping people who they don't want to vote from voting. The state began to remove non-citizen voters from the rolls in May using this list caught in the mix were hundreds of legal voters, some of them war heroes. Voter rights advocates cried foul and said the purge unfairly targeted minorities and would intimidate some from casting a ballot. So the purge was put on hold while the state fought with the feds over access to an immigration database with more accurate information. The state was granted access to the database this week and the Republican Party of Florida responded with this email to supporters touting the victory. When the political party steps in, basically what it is is an acknowledgement that this was really about politics all along. Republican Party Chairman Lenny Curry says that's nonsense. It's a ridiculous claim. Uh, any of the success or wins that the governor have has, we've pushed historically. That's always happened in political parties. We found emails from the party about the falling unemployment rate as well as Scott videos about fraud. These days we can't afford that kind of waste. And education. It wasn't fun. But critics say this issue is different. They point to the fact that the state isn't relaunching its purge efforts until after the primary, as proof the goal has always been to suppress votes in November. In Tallahassee, I'm Whitney Ray reporting.